is it? I don't know. Ah, it smells like manure. It looks like a rancid burrito. I think it just moved. Somebody do something. What's going on here? What are you poking? Ah, it looks like a wet diaper. Oh, no. oh Nigel! It's Rizzo Brown! Oh, my sweet Nigel. Who would shave you, paint you, wrap you in toilet paper, and shut you in water and lager? Who did this? Who did this? I want everyone in class. No! <laughs> I said everyone! Ugh, what's that? It looks like... We know what it looks like. I'm taking Principal Brown to the nurse's office. Nurse. Come back. And if the culprit hasn't owned up by the time I get back, you're all in detention. So, what do you guys think happened to Principal Brown? Well, I saw him at the end of school, so it must have happened after that. <laughs> so, who stayed after school yesterday? I was doing cheerleader stuff. I was cleaning late. I had detention. I can't remember. So you're all suspects. Oh, come on. It was obviously Gumball. Yeah. Brown was found in his locker. Guys, I didn't do it, but I'm going to find out who did. And I think I know just how. Whoever did it, raise your hand. Okay. Whoever didn't do it, raise your hand. Aha! Uh -huh. So you did it! Dude, I don't have any hands! Darn, you're good. Aren't you supposed to, like, look for clues or something? Hmm, clues. Like those paint splatters all over your pom-poms! <gasps> no, wait! I can explain! There's only one explanation. It was a crime of passion. What do you mean? You knew Principal Brown put me in detention last night, and overwhelmed by your feelings for me, you confronted him in his office. Please, let him go. I love him, Principal Brown. He's nothing but a rogue. But he's noble and strong and brave and handsome. So handsome. He might be the best-looking guy in the whole school. Gumball, have you seen your yearbook photo? <laughs> no interruptions, please. We all know how handsome, handsome Gumball. Gumball is, but he's still in detention. Then you leave me no choice. It was then that you pom-pommed him unconscious. <laughs> Shaved off his hair to punish him, covered him in paint to humiliate him, wrapped him in toilet paper to keep him quiet, and stuffed him in my locker as proof of your deranged obsession for me. It was you! <gasps> but I forgive you because I am madly in love with you two. Yeah, well, that's not quite what happened. I had finally finished my painting of the cheerleaders, and I went to hang it in the stairwell. I guess it was still wet, and I must have got paint on my pom-poms. And did anyone see you supposedly hang this alleged painting in this so-called stairwell? Yeah, you did. Hey, Penny, I love you! You're painting! You're painting! I love your painting! Remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, if Penny didn't do it, who did? Hmm, it must have been you! I said it was him! <gasps> Why me? Well, yesterday you were wandering around when suddenly, at the age of 27, you realized your youth was behind you. Oh. Then all your hair fell out. Bummer. When you saw Principal Brown's lustrous hairy coat, you were overcome with jealousy. Yeah. And acting on impulse, you attacked him. <gasps> you frantically plucked out all of his hair, dyed it the right color, and used it to cover your balding shame. Then planning to mislead any investigation, you painted Principal Brown, wrapped him in toilet paper, and stuffed him into my locker. The perfect crime. <laughs> Save for one thing. Huh? When you stuck the new hair on your body, there wasn't quite enough, which explains this bald spot on your hand. <gasps> Dude, you've got it all wrong. I got this bald spot when I was cleaning yesterday. You see, I spilt some really strong chemicals on my hand, and it burnt off the hair. See? 